Uh, my name is Alyssa and I am a special effects makeup artist and an alumni of Cinema Makeup School. I have been cosplaying for about seven years now, but I wanted to expand that and so came to Cinema Makeup School to get my special effects makeup degree so that I could do even bigger and crazier cosplays. Mm -hmm. And I graduated from Cinema Makeup School in July of 2021. So right now I am molding the branches. We use wed clay to build up a wall around it about halfway. I had previously already molded um, the headpiece and the cowl, but I actually started this piece before the pandemic and didn't get to finish it. So now I'm back and we cut off all the little branches because they're too thin to mold as part of the bigger piece and we are making individual molds for all of them. It's layers of ultra cal stone and then burlap mixed into it to make the mold stronger and then another layer of stone on top of that. And then as it dries, we just keep cleaning it up so that it's nice and smooth on the top. And that whole process takes about maybe 45 minutes to an hour for one side. And then when we flip it over, we repeat the whole thing. Somebody else is going to be running the film for me and these pieces are going to eventually glue on top of the main headpiece. Um, we'll probably attach them with super glue, but these are basically ready to go. They're just going to be tiny little pieces that then get attached to the larger piece. Uh, I'm Yvonne, and I'm the assistant lab supervisor at Cinema Makeup School. Uh, a lot of what I do revolves around assisting uh, teachers as well as helping with production for events uh, such as Comic-Con. So what I've been doing the past couple weeks is prepping everything for the artists and their applications. So that includes mold making, fabricating, and running foam. Foam latex has four components. Uh, you mix three of them together and then one of them is a catalyst you put at the end. It's sort of like mixing meringue, but it smells awful. Uh, please don't eat it. Uh, you sit there with a mixer for a little while. You put it on a couple different speeds and that's how you run foam. So a good foam run can either be fluffy or dense depending on the sculpt. Each of the artists has a face and neck piece along with maybe a couple other horns or things like that. And we had been doing a couple runs just to get used to how we had to run them. So if we had any glitches, we could fix things. So it's been probably the past couple weeks we've been running foam every day. Uh, you want to make sure you close it nice and tightly with a mold strap. It's basically just a seat belt that you put around there. And that's it. My name is Giacomo, and I'm a sculptor here at the Cinema Makeup School. I've been sculpting for almost 14 years. I moved here in the U.S. from Italy. Today I'm sculpting this creature slash demon for the San Diego Comic Con with the two giant horns. It's going to be a unique idea for the event. It's going to be very fun to, to make. As a teacher, I teach my student, of course, the, the art of sculpting. That's my, that's my specialty. Here, I'm teaching a special effects class, which is one of my favorite class. Uh, I've been teaching for almost five years. This is my first time teaching here in America, and it's, it's amazing. I'm doing the sculpting part here, and, but then when I'm done, my good friend, Darlil, she's gonna take care of all the the foam latex part, the rest of the process, and the application for the event, and I'm very excited about it. Making these two giant horns on these creatures, I kind of like, a, feel like I'm giving her like a bit of a challenge, but it's gonna be like a good challenge for every one of us, being also the first time collaborating together, and, I'm, and it's gonna be very, very cool. I've been reading comics since I was a little kid, and watching fantasy movie, horror movies, I love this stuff. And I feel like this one is, is my environment. It's been always like that since I was a little kid. And it's gonna be very, very fun. Hi, my name is Darlil, and I graduated last year from CMS. And right now I'm the lab supervisor. Right now we're in the process of fabricating the horns for Giacomo's sculpture. The first thing we'll do is paint the horns in a thin layer of sleep latex. Then we wrap the horns in masking tape. 
The next thing that we're gonna do is sketch all the patterns that we're gonna use for the fabrication of the horns. We're going to use that to recreate the dimensions of the horns. And using those pieces, we're going to cut L200 foam in the shape of each piece. We're gonna put all those pieces together like a puzzle, which we'll glue together to make the horn shape in foam. To give the horns an interesting texture, we're gonna coat them in a material called Smoothcast 300. There are two parts of this chemical that we mix together. Once this starts setting, it will change to a white color and solidify around the foam. This coating that we use right now, it will allow me to sculpt using the Dremel, that um, then I'm gonna create the patterns and texture. And this is just what it takes to make the horns. I still have to process all the prosthetics before next week. These are the pieces that we made last time. They have now been cast in a combination of foam latex and slip latex. And I've glued them on to the top of the headpiece and used a foam burner to seamlessly combine the pieces so it looks like one continuous piece. My biggest inspiration with special effects makeup is definitely the fantasy and sci-fi genre. So with this creature, that's kind of kind of the world that I was going for. Um, Guillermo del Toro is a huge influence of mine, so I really wanted to maybe make a creature that could live in one of his worlds. I am excited to finish up the details. I have a bit more costuming work to be done separately at home. And I'm excited to see the whole thing come together and see this creature walking the con floors. You can come see us at the Cinema Makeup School booth on Thursday is when I will be applying this. And yeah, I hope to see you there.